tell you that I love you 100 times a day You'll get tired of my voice That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I'll miss you Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Welcome to my disaster home This week has been super crazy We've been running all over the place And somehow the house just completely got away from me And it is a disaster from top to bottom So I was hoping we could do a little vlog I know I've mentioned before we are um, soon going to be remodeling our whole house And uh, because of that I need to start downsizing some things And clearing out a lot of clutter Because pretty soon we're going to have to pack everything up and get out of here So part of my objectives for today is to clear out the clutter and like the hoardings that we've amassed um, over the past year of being here and then um, I also just want to organize some things I also have a really easy dinner idea for you all that I'm gonna show you and then I'm gonna show you how to make the best most delicious ever gluten-free vegan blueberry muffins they are so good I made some last night and my family just wiped out the entire tray in like a 20 minute span it was crazy so I'm gonna make them again and I will show you how to make them because they're super delicious and very low in sugar and pretty healthy too so let's jump right into it help me with this disaster please So for this declutter process, I'm basically just taking everything out of this closet and kind of making an even bigger mess. I'm sorting stuff into piles between things that we're going to keep, the trash that I need to get rid of, and then stuff that I'm going to donate using the Buy Nothing group on Facebook. We actually ended up having quite a bit of good stuff that we didn't need anymore that we just passed along to our neighbors, so that worked out really well. today oh my gosh I only have two hours until I have to get Christopher from school so um, still a lot to do so it's done definitely not perfect but everything is cleaned off now and it's way better than it was and it's more organized This is my all-time favorite crock pot beef stew. I'm gonna link the recipe in the description, but basically I just make a few modifications to make it gluten-free. I coat the meat in gluten-free flour, and then um, I also grate an onion. I like the flavor of onions in beef stew, but I don't really like the texture. And then I just um, kind of deglaze the pan and throw all of that into the crock pot. And then after that, I'm gonna pile it high with lots of veggies. And um, really this time we kind of the crock pot to the limit. I throw in some beef broth and then I just run this baby on high for like six hours and by dinner time it is ready to it comes out so good the meat is so tender and it's just packed full of veggies I also tried to make some gluten-free bread to go with this and I think this is a failed attempt but once I perfect this I will be sharing the recipe with you all here so stay tuned for that so our cup cabinet <laughs> A total mess. I got these little cup hanging things that you put on the shelf above. I think they're actually to make more room if you have a really high cabinet, um, but I just felt like it would make things look neater. So this is the finished product. Definitely looks much better than what was there before. <laughs> Kitchen 
Next up is gonna be the recipe for the most delicious ever um, blueberry muffins that are gluten-free and vegan. This recipe came from the medical medium. The way that you make it is you're gonna start with some oat flour and I just make my own oat flour by putting the oats in a blender. You'd also buy it <laughs> from the store. Once you blend up the oat flour, you're gonna mix in some baking powder, baking soda, and a little bit of salt. Then you're gonna move on to the wet ingredients. You're gonna mash three bananas, add in a little vanilla, um, a quarter of a cup of maple syrup and a quarter of a cup of coconut sugar. And if you just have regular sugar on hand, um, that works too. It's still a pretty small amount of sugar. Then you combine all the ingredients together. And lastly, you're gonna stir in about a half a cup of wild blueberries, the frozen ones. And you just wanna lightly stir these in because if you go to town, like mixing them up, it's gonna turn all of your muffins purple. And then um, you scoop them all into a muffin tin. And I cook them for 20 minutes at 350 and they come out perfect every time they are so delicious and so healthy it's basically like eating a bowl of blueberry oatmeal but in muffin form it tastes like you're eating some kind of decadent dessert so um, I hope that you'll give these a try they are so delicious well, that about wraps it up for today's clean with me and cook with me video thank you guys so much for watching if you like this kind of video please give it a thumbs up so I know to make more like it and I will see you in the next one goodbye everybody All of my friends say, girl, you better take care Cause that man is trouble, you best beware And though it down, I know I might be headed for teardrops Now that you got me started, I just